welcome to an encouraging word with me, your host, Sister Bonnick. And today I have a guest here with me today. I'm going to ask her to introduce herself. Please introduce yourself, sis. Okay, greetings, everyone. My name is Sister Sutton from the Maypen Temple in Clarendon. All right. So you're you're from the you're from which country? Jamaica. Oh, okay, you're from Jamaica. Okay, okay, so let's just kick into um, things. First question, how did you first hear about First Church? Okay, it was one Sunday morning while I was getting ready to go to my regular church service. Yeah. I was inside and, you know, going back and forth. I The TV was on and it was the program with the mannequin. Oh, the dressing, yes. the dressing of the man yes, the dressing of the mannequin yes. when Pastor Jennings was um saying this is how Christian nowadays dress to go to church. Right, right. And um I think it was the same service with Mr. Vegas, is it? No, it was this was a different service with Mr. Okay. Vegas. Okay. But then I was saying to myself, you know, it's true. Even though um, that was dress code, that wasn't the way I dress. Or even if I'm not going to church or so, something like that. Right, but, right. You know, but that it, it started from there. And right. then another time it was the interview with Mr. Vegas. That, right. that is when I started um, giving a keen hearing to mm -hmm. what he had to say. Right. And I was, you know, saying, but um, this man is right, you know, because I saw no five people them nowadays, even those who say them are Christians. Christian, yes. You know, mm -hmm. that is the way they dress and it's uh, inappropriate for, even though I, you know, back in the country, back in the days when we mm -hmm. were going to Church of God, Mm -hmm. I always tell myself that when I get big and get older then yeah. and giving my life to God, you know, I would dress modest because that's the way your church of God people used to dress, dress right. modest. Mm -hmm. You don't see their underwear or they don't wear beer head or anything like that. So, right. you know, that was really interesting that morning. So I sat down and I listened and that is that that service motivates me to, you know, mm -hmm. give myself a search and whatever. So that is where I started from. Okay. That's wonderful. No, yes. when did you decide now to be a part of First Church? When did you decide to say, okay, I have to go to that church now? When did you decide that? It was in 2018 when I first started to listen to it. And then, you know, still going to church. And then every Sunday morning, I would take a little prep on his program. <laughs> and, you know, words start, you know, flicking through my head and, you know, getting the different teachings and all of that. Even though they teach truth there, yes, but yes. certain lifestyle, you know, start pricking me. And then I, I um, like when me go to church, you know, me kind of get confused. You know, it's like, why well, I mean, want come out, but when me I go do this, are you might afraid right. to do that because yes. Right. And then mm -hmm. one of my sister now that is overseas, overseas, she um she um go to first church. So she always telling me about say um she say why Angela, we can't tell you this, you know, even though we live at Jamaica, we say we we know it truth, we know then no way. Me say, oh if you God. ever go to Pastor Jennings Church, and there's so real Christian life people, they people are strive oh. to live holy. Mm -hmm. And then when she tell me that now, me I say, Lord Jesus. So me start go, go to my pastor about it. Mm -hmm. yes. Wow, that what that must be something to so go into your and, pastor about this and man. One morning, I can remember, I can remember clearly. One morning, I wrap my head. I have on a, a, um, a modest dressing clothes and so. Mm. And when I go to church that Sunday morning, everybody was just looking at me. 
just because of the head tie though. The head wrap, not right. the not the not the the, 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 the attire, mm -hmm. the head tie. So mm -hmm. my sister, she said to me, say that um my daughter first came to me and said, Mommy, you're all right. I said, Yes. <laughs> and she said, she come back to me again and she said, Mommy, you're all right. You sure say you're all right? I said, Yes. And she said to me, say, um, Pastor Jennings wife, no, 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 we are so let must see like a head tie. I mm -hmm. said, I don't care. My head is covered. All right, oh. and she leave me and she gone. Mm -hmm. Then my sister come back. She come back to me again and she said, Mommy, you are right. I said yes. And then my sister come and, to uh, me. And, and this thing, and this was all because you wrap your head? Yes. And uh, my sister come to me and said, um, and you know, Sister T wouldn't like to, that I passed a wife, wouldn't, um, not nah, go like that. I said, what? What? I said, me not come here to, to Sister T. Mm -hmm. Me not come here to her. So me say, you know what? I am going home. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are and all of them, um, my, um, my sister and my daughter, she come to me and say, mm -hmm. mommy, you say, I go home. Me say, yes, me I go home because me come here. And you go tell me, say, who are going like this from who not going like yeah, I said, I don't come here for that. Mm -hmm. So I said, all right, I'm going home. And I went inside and I took up my handbag. Yes. And they, they came after me and the pastor came behind me and they were talking to me. And I said, I am going to my yard. Yes. I am going home. So I took up my bag and I went home that Sunday. And you did? Oh, my yes, gosh. Yes, I went home that Sunday. And... The other Sunday, oh I went back to service. God. Some of the Sundays, while when I go to church, um, the pastor, sometimes you would want to hear a word because that is the reason why you go there. Right, exactly. And instead of the word, some of the time, he keeps talking about Pastor Jennings. You oh. know? Yes. He keeps talking oh. about Pastor Jennings. And you know, from there and then I just mm -hmm. sit down every Sunday. I just feel confused, confused, confused. Until so when did you actually left that church? When did you actually leave and decided I'm not going back there? It was the Friday mm -hmm. when Pastor Jennings came to Versailles 2019. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. While while when we hear the um the advertisement that is at is coming at Versailles. I, I said that yes. Mm -hmm. I said yes. This is my time. Exactly. And while I was coming from work the evening, I work in Maypen at that time, right. at Garden Street. Mm -hmm. I left work. Well, pretty good time because it's my time to go home. So I left work. I didn't. I just walked straight from Garden Street straight to Versailles. Mm -hmm. When I got there, nothing started yet. But everybody was trying to come together, and so yeah. you can choose your seat that you want. Mm -hmm. And I sit at the front because I love to get some of the fresh air. <laughs> yes, right. And the the Saturday the evening again, I went back. You know, I can remember I bought a pair of shoes in Maypen. It was a nice, comfortable kind of little bit, you know, mm -hmm. expensive. And I okay. say, all right, this this year shoes naga Christ up. <laughs> No, not going and there. I, ready in the evening, and when I come outside, my son-in-law said to me, "Say, um, where are you going?" I say, "I'm going to church." He said, "We are." I said, "Maypen." Mm -hmm. I'm going back to Versailles this evening. Mm -hmm. So this Sunday now, when they call for baptism, that is when I got baptized. Over. Oh my gosh! Yes, and there so, started the journey. It's very encouraging, and yes. some of the things that I do know now. Is there? I learned it from. Not that I didn't learn some of the things from yes, that falls, where I was yes. coming from. Mm -hmm, yes, mm -hmm. some of the Bible words, some of the songs that we are not supposed to sing because the words are lies. Yes, and we never used to. I personally never think about the no Christian song when I'm singing. I just sing. I didn't yes, think because about a the Christian lyrics. song, so we just sing. Yes, you understand. I just sing. But, but now well, that we know truth. the truth. Mm -hmm. You understand, and if you hear one song now, you can identify lies them in it so fast. Exactly, you know? right? Right, While so fast. Teach, yes. Teach so, us so it was good, and it is. Um, the words are very encouraging. Make you kind of 
scares scare more for your life mm -hmm. even though you know say there's a, a heaven and there's a hell but no mm -hmm. that you know say if you're not in a truth if you if everything have to be truth everything because god is truth right you know, so me just want to stay in here and just want to grow just add the word of god to my life mm -hmm. that my life can come up to his mark not my way but his way because i is way i right way all right so and my 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 next question was going to be where did they got baptized but you answered that already and that would have been in 2019 right. on the 23rd right Perfect. And why I know that um, year and date is because I was also baptized in Versailles on the 19th, on the 23rd of August, 2019. So that's the reason why I record that date. No, the next right. question. And, and you, did you know that? You see, I was kind of little, um, what do I call it now, laid back inside. But then yes. I thought I say, you know what, may I go get may I go get baptized. And my husband come to me and said, Um, um, Angie, you know, say may I go get baptized. I said, if you wow. want to go, you go, you don't have to wait on me, you go. Yes. So when so I went around here, it was the, yes, it was wow. the last it was the last gown that left around here. Wow. Yes, that is so and last and is that left there too. Oh, just for you? <laughs> yes. The, the, mm -hmm. the, um, but you know that that Sunday when I was leaving home, I had prepared for the baptism. It's just right. the gown I didn't have. I oh, carry my clothes. Okay. Yes, I did okay. prepare. Yes, mm -hmm. it was three of us that came from that church that Sunday that mm -hmm. got baptized. Okay, that's yes. wonderful. That's great to hear, sis. Now, the next question. How has the journey has been so far? Because I know, in truth, it is not easy. Because I can well, testify rough, you know? this for myself as well. It's you're not rough, easy. You're so rough and it's hard. I mean, I tell you, say, the devil is at your heel. Every turn you turn. You know, yes. the obstacles, the, the, the distractions, and the, the strongholds, and all of that. It's rough, mm -hmm. I tell you. It's real rough. But when you're looking at your life, it's worthwhile fighting for. True, true. Definitely. Yes. I must say so myself to it. It is worthwhile fighting for. No matter what the hard and the trials and tribulation may come, we have yes. to continue on this journey. Right. So th is there anything before I jump into the next segment of this? And this segment is a fast segment. You have a um, couple seconds to answer some question. And I want you to say the first thing that pop up in your in your head. It's a fast segment. Is there anything else you would want to talk about before we go to that segment? Boy, may I tell you, one thing me really want to talk about now is just to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Oh, my Lord. That's my first priority. You yes. know, just want to continue to seek God for the Holy Spirit because I realize and do get the full understanding now that it's very, very needful and important. Mm -hmm. Very, very necessary, necessary thing to have mm -hmm. in my life. Just like, oh, you have life, you know, say you have to seek God. Right. And without life, you can't seek him. That mm -hmm. is only Holy Ghost is very, very necessary. Oh my it's, God. Your, it's a chance to get you into the kingdom of God and uh, I really want to get in there. So that's what I have on my first part of my book right now. Right. So we want to ask everyone, every sisters, every brothers out there to pray for Sister Lynette that she may be able to receive the Holy Ghost to make it in the first resurrection. No. Yes. For the fast segment. All right. First question. What's your favorite color? Um, peach. All right. If you were a thing, what would you be? A bees. <laughs> what is your claim to fame? To hold on to the best, to strive. Okay. What's your go-to funny story? Not really. <laughs> All right. Pass. What superpower would you like to have? The Holy Ghost. <laughs> What do you do if you find ear in your food? What would what you do, do I do if I have ear in my food? In your food. <laughs> Take it out. 
How do you handle a bad hair day? If you just try to be calm. Just try <laughs> to be calm. What is your dream job? My dream job. Well, owning my whole little business. <laughs> okay. What are you most passionate about? Well, I just passionate. Oh my God! To I see my family, to so see my family all saved. Okay, wonderful, wonderful, Sister Sutton. Now, before you go, I would love for you to leave an encouraging word to all the brothers and sisters that will be listening and watching this interview. Well, all I can say to my brothers and sisters, continue to strive, continue to be obedient, continue to pray and ask God to help us to humble ourselves because that is the only way I live right, live yeah. holy mm -hmm. because that's uh, the set of people that God is coming back for correct. holy people yeah. Correct. Correct, yeah. Correct, correct. it was good to have you here this has been an encouraging word the first of many with me, your host see you next time, bye thank you Sister Bonnet, God bless you and peace be unto you all, bye thank you, sis.